the Bayonne Bridge right now, um, where Bayonne's behind me, Staten Island's in front of me. The expansion of the Panama Canal is expected to create demand for the ports to be able to handle new ships. These ships are substantially larger than an average cargo ship. With New York being one of the largest shipping ports in the world, the necessity to raise this bridge was absolute in order for the ships to come through and make it to the ports in our area. So the phases of work for this project is, is broken up into multiple parts. We have the New York approach structure, we have the main span arch, which is behind us, we have the New Jersey approach, and then we have extensive on-grade work consisting of entrance ramps, exit ramps, uh, new toll systems, new utilities, and actually three new buildings as well. Currently we are standing on the New Jersey Tower, which is a uh, steel structure that was built all the way down to the abutment. The steel structure leads way into the arch suspending span. This is the new concrete slab that we poured a few months ago. As you can see, the cranes are working on the uh, rebar sections ahead of us. And in front of that, you have the open framing, which includes the stringers, floor beams, edge girders, and wind bracing. They'll continue to pour concrete over towards the middle of the bridge in the next few months. Setting the final segments for the approach structures is a pretty technical operation. We recently landed these approach sections on the New Jersey Tower, and what that consists of is you have four end span units. Uh, the first segment that we set was the expansion segment. This segment needed to be set with the utmost of accuracy because the alignment of that segment needed to project out the previously erected cantilever tip. So after that one is erected, they suspend the remaining three segments from rods from the gantry. They slowly adjust those into position. They epoxy them to the adjacent segment, post tension them all together, and then the end span section is complete. We are building a structure on top of uh, an existing roadway. So we had to utilize uh, road closures and we can work to, uh, to, to do a lot of the major construction. So this, the schedule plays a major role in uh, trying to, to meet the owner's demand. There's multiple reasons for using precast construction. Um, one mainly being a schedule and also impact on the community. Basically this is a big erector set. So all of these segments are cast off-site down in Cape Charles, Virginia. They're shipped up here and they're put together like a bunch of Legos basically. So it, it, it helps with time, efficiency, accuracy, and uh, getting the job done with the least impact on the community. You can't ask for a better life. Working with Skanska is hands down a privilege. They do some of the most unique projects in the country, and this is just an example of one. I mean, it's, it's great. We're standing on a concrete deck that I actually placed. Um, this is my newest operation. I'm very proud of it. We have a long road ahead of us, actually, and we're working really hard to get there. I've been in the construction industry in New York for over 20 years now. It makes me feel great to be able to come back and you know, see these projects completed and see the people utilizing the, the buildings or the bridges. It's very rewarding.